Skoda Rapid Review Our Rating 3 Star The Skoda Rapid offers good value for money and decent practicality, but the overall package is rather plain. 4 Big Boot, Decent Engines, Cheap to Run Against Not much fun to drive, jittery ride, cheaper models are basic. Skoda has always been a brand associated with value, and although prices of cars like its Fabia Super Mini have steadily crept higher, the Rapid still combines versatility with an affordable price tag. Thanks to its clever design, it has more interior room than models such the Ford Focus and Volkswagen Golf for a much lower price the entry-level models start at around £13,000. However, the Rapid is rather docile to drive, and its interior quality and ride comfort aren't up to the high standards found in the Golf or Hyundai i30. Despite these drawbacks, the Rapid has plenty of other great qualities, such as competitive finance offers and a good range of engines all of which add up to make it a valid choice for families on a budget. Our Choice Skoda Rapid 1.2 TSI 110 PSSE It looks like a small saloon from a distance, but the Skoda Rapid is actually a hatchback that's similar in size to a Volkswagen Golf. However, the one thing that is significantly smaller about the Rapid is its price tag. The Rapid name is one from Skoda's history, as it has been used on a few other models. It first appeared in 1935 on a six-cylinder model offered as a saloon, coupe, or convertible, but perhaps more famous was the fastback coupe based on the rear-engined 130 of the 80s. With its two-door body and rear-engined, rear-wheel drive platform, some quarters described the car as a poor man's Porsche, and it avoided some of the flack that the rest of the Skoda range got during this era. The Rapid name was used on an Indian market saloon from 2011 onward, but the Rapid sold in the UK is very different under the skin, and was introduced in 2012. It uses plenty of components from the VW Group parts bin in order to keep costs down, and more costs have been saved by the fact the Rapid is largely identical to the Seat Toledo, which also offers the same formula of space and value for money. To that end, both models are built at Skoda's factory in Mlada Bolslav. The Rapid slots in between the Fabia Super Mini and Octavia family hatch in the range, and in some ways it combines elements of both these models, by offering compact dimensions, but decent space inside. There are three versions of the Skoda Rapid on offer, consisting of the SE, SEL, and Sport. There used to be an S model, but Skoda dropped that as it was a poor seller. The Sport model is only offered in one trim, and it is similar in look to Monte Carlo versions of the Fabia, with extra black trim on offer. While the model range is limited, there are more engine options, although you can't get every engine in every trim. The SE model is offered with a 1.2 TSI turbo petrol with 90 PS or 110 PS, a 1.4 TSI with 125 PS or a 1.4 TDI with 90 PS and a 1.6 TDI with 115 PS. The Sport model only comes with the 1.2 TSI 110 PS, while the SEL comes with all engines bar the 90 PS 1.2 TSI and 125 PS 1.4 TSI. All cars come with a 5-speed manual gearbox except the 1.4 TSI, which has a 7-speed DSG auto. You can add the same DSG box to the 1.4 TDI, but not to the larger 1.6 TDI. As well as the standard 5-door hatch, Skoda also offers the rapid space back. This model has less luggage space, but the back seats are more spacious, while the glass tailgate arguably gives the Rapid a smarter look. Rivals for the Rapid include its sister car the Seat Toledo, plus other budget-minded hatchbacks such as the Fiat Tipo and Suzuki Balano, cheaper versions of the Nissan Pulsar, Citroen C4 and Ford Focus, 
while the Citroen C4 Cactus is an alternative option that also stands out from the crowd. Engines, Performance, and Drive 3.7 Star No fireworks from the engine lineup, but the Skoda Rapid is a reasonable all-rounder. All Skoda Rapid models have modern engines, but the smaller capacity versions can feel a little sluggish. However, the car's low curb weight means it's not much of a hardship. The steering is sharp enough, the body control tight and the feedback you get is clearer than some rival models. It means you can drive the Skoda faster, as the car has more composure without it feeling stretched. It still bounces around, though, and the quality of the damping shows it's been built down to a price. Big bumps do knock the car offline a little and can send a shockwave through the car, sport models suffer on 17-inch alloys especially, but on the whole it's comfortable. Unlike the larger Octavia, the Rapid isn't based on the VW Group's MQB platform, and instead shares much of its architecture with the current VW Polo. This well-developed platform means the Rapid rides relatively well, even on optional 670 pounds 17 inch wheels, 16 inch alloys are standard on SE models. Washboard roads and harsher bumps or potholes still give a high frequency patter through the suspension, although the dampers just shave the edge off bigger bumps well. On the motorway the Skoda feels relaxed, while the compromise when it comes to ride quality on country roads helps the chassis steer sweetly. It won't set your pulse racing, but it's surprisingly engaging for a budget hatchback. Engines The Skoda Rapid is available with a choice of small petrol and diesel engines. The smallest is a 4-cylinder 1.2-liter petrol TSI unit with 8.9 bhp, which takes a sedate 11.3 seconds on the sprint to 62 miles per hour but can still manage a 124 miles per hour maximum. A 109 bhp version of the same engine drops the acceleration time down to 9.8 seconds. The only other petrol option is the fastest engine in the rapid range it's the 124 bhp 1.4 liter unit that only comes with the DSG twin clutch automated gearbox as an option in SE trim cars. Even though it's the fastest rapid, it still only manages a 9 second 0 to 62 miles per hour time, though top speed is raised to 129 miles per hour. Moving on to the diesels, the lineup kicks off with a 3-cylinder 1.4-liter TDI boasting 8.9 bhp that's available with manual or the DSG gearbox. The manual gives you 0 to 62 miles per hour in 11.7 seconds, and a top speed of 115 miles per hour, while opting for DGS loses a tenth in acceleration. The fastest diesel is the punchier 114bhp 1.6, which has a 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 10 seconds and a 125 miles per hour maximum. The 1.6 TDI is quite gruff at idle and gets even noisier if you extend it through the rev range, so it's best to keep a lid on things and use the 250nm of torque, where its in-gear performance is acceptable. MPG, CO2 and running costs. 4 star. Day-to-day -day costs should be super low, but Skoda Rapid depreciation is a bit of an issue. The Skoda Rapid is available with a choice of robust petrol and diesel engines, which range from 1.2 to 1.6 liters. Only one of the engine options can slip beneath the 100 G/km mark, but none of them will break the bank on VED or company car tax benefit in-kind calculations. The diesels are the most efficient engines in terms of MPG and emissions, as you'd expect. The 1.4 TDI is cheapest to run, with a 94 g km CO2 rating and a claimed average fuel economy figure of 78.5 MPG. Adding DSG gears takes emissions up to 99 g km, and MPG down to 74.3 MPG. The 114BHP 1.6 TDI is capable of 67.3 mpg and emits just 109g slash km of CO2, so apart from the higher initial purchase price there's little financial disincentive to own the bigger diesel if you want better performance. The 1.2 TSI petrol is smooth and refined, and comes with either 89bhp or 109bhp.
The lower powered version manages 60.1 MPG and 107 G slash KM, and the other returns 55.7 MPG and 110 G slash KM. As the petrol engines are pretty efficient, and because the list price for petrol Skoda Rapid models is almost £2,500 less than their diesel equivalents, make sure you cover enough miles annually to make the rattly oil burners worth the extra cost up front. On most counts, the Rapid makes more financial than emotional sense. It might be ultimately uninspiring, but all trim levels are relatively well equipped and good value. Our main problem with parting with cash for the Rapid is the existence of the bigger and better Octavia range, which starts at only £1,800 more than the Rapid. Insurance Groups The Skoda Rapids insurance groups run from 10 for the 1.2 TSI petrol up to 19 for the fastest 1.4 litre petrol DSG version all pretty competitive. Depreciation while some Skodas such as the Yeti 4X4 hold onto their value well, others like the Rapid still aren't finding traction in the used market. According to some industry predictions based on a 3-year slash 30,000 mile ownership cycle, you'll be lucky to hang onto a third of the original purchase price at resale time. Interior, Design, and Technology 3.3 Star the Skoda Rapids conservative exterior wraps an unexciting cabin with no surprise and delight features. Styling often takes a backseat in the pursuit of versatility and that's definitely the case with the Skoda Rapid. Fiat Tipo VS Skoda Rapid VS Citroën C4, Rapid Rear 3 quarter. As with the larger Octavia, the Rapid's rear end shape comes from its big boot, but unlike a conventional hatchback, the Rapid's tailgate slopes more gently down to the base of its C-pillars. Despite this bigger hatch opening and long look of the bodywork, the Rapid is actually shorter than most rival hatchbacks, although the Skoda's overall shape and styling mean this difference isn't as noticeable when they're parked side by side. The Rapid conforms to Skoda's relatively conventional, reserved design, so there aren't many flourishes to speak of. There are lots of geometric shapes at the front and the Rapid's main grille and headlights, and lower grille and fog lamps, create two strong, wide elements in the front bumper. Apart from a depression at the bottom of the doors, the crease that connects the headlights to the tail lamps down the car's flanks is the Rapid's only notable detail in profile, while at the rear the C-shaped tail lights and creases on the bootlet give a little bit more visual interest to what's an otherwise plain and simple shape. Although the Rapid predates the firm's flagship superb model, Skoda's value-focused hatchback features a few styling cues similar to the larger, more expensive car inside. The dash top doesn't drop away towards the sides of the car, remaining almost the same level across the width of the cabin. This accentuates the sense of width and space. The drawback is that it feels like there's a lot of low-rent plastic in prominent areas. However, the slabby center console constructed of unforgiving material still highlights the Rapid's budget price. Air conditioning comes as standard on SE models, but it costs £440 to upgrade to climate control. Cruise control is on the kit list, as is Bluetooth, but these are the Rapid's equipment highlights. SAT NAV costs £575, DAB £100, Heated seats a further 250 pounds, parking sensors are 380 pounds extra, metallic paint costs 535 pounds and xenon lights another 500 pounds, while a reversing camera and leather aren't even available. Inside, the Rapid has a cohesive, logical design even if it's quite bland. It's not the last word in luxury, but it mixes quality with a robust feel. Everything is easy to use, with well-labeled buttons and clear, legible dials. SAT NAV, Stereo and Infotainment The entry-level S trim has a pretty basic M slash FM radio with a four-speaker installation, and Bluetooth is an optional extra. All other grades have a six-speaker system with Bluetooth as standard, but the digital radio and touchscreen SAT NAV system are optional, even on the top of the range SEL.
The system costs around £575 and is the highlight when it comes to equipment. SE Spec includes cruise control, Bluetooth, and aircon, while DAB radio is around £100 extra. There are some options worth investing in, such as rear parking sensors, but these cost around £380, which is fairly steep for a car in this class. Xenon headlights are around £500, a rear view camera around £230 and heated seats around £250. If you want to upgrade the standard aircon to climate control, that will cost about £440 extra, as only top spec SEL models get this as standard. Practicality, comfort, and boot space. 4.7 star. The spacious Rapid is hard to beat in its class for practicality, and comfort is decent too. While it lacks a little in quality and driving enjoyment, the Skoda Rapid's practicality completely wipes the floor with the Volkswagen Golf and Ford Focus primarily because it has such a big boot. It's deceptive, as the Rapid Hatchback saloon-inspired styling doesn't suggest such a high degree of flexibility. The Rapid's driving position is good too, with a full range of adjustments for both seat height and steering wheel, and the simple, uncomplicated dash layout also adds to the straightforward feel. Comfort and refinement on the move are not class-leading, but the suspension does a decent job of soaking up most of our many tarmac imperfections. Wind and road noise are sufficiently subdued too, so you can put some miles under the wheels without becoming unduly frazzled. Cabin storage is catered for with large door bins, and the car also has some clever touches such as a boot floor with carpet on one side and rubber on the other, so you can flip it depending on what you're carrying. Size The Skoda Rapid competes in the super competitive family hatchback class, where its dimensions give it a clear advantage. At 4,483mm it's longer than the 4,360mm Ford Focus and the 4,255mm Volkswagen Golf. Legroom, headroom and passenger space. The cabin is spacious enough for carrying five adults, but it will be a bit of a squeeze for taller passengers in the back. All trim levels come with ISOFIX prepared rear seats so you can fit the child seats. Boot. With the rear seats in place, the Rapid has 550 liters of space in the boot. This is compared to 363 liters in the Ford and 350 liters in the Golf. When its rear seats are folded flat, the Rapid's boot space increases to a huge 1,490 liters. The Rapid Space Back Sister car has a more conventional compact hatchback body steel, which cuts boot space to 415 liters with the back seats up and 1,380 liters with them folded. Reliability and Safety 4.6 Star Excellent reliability feedback from owners and strong safety credentials are two of the rapid strengths. Skoda routinely performs well in our annual driver power satisfaction survey, and in 2016 the brand notched up a third place result behind Tesla and Lexus. Its dealers couldn't match that result for customer service, though, finishing mid-table in 15th position. More impressively, the Skoda Rapid itself was ranked 14th out of almost 200 cars in the 2015 Reliability League, and 78th for build quality. Along with extremely well-rated running costs, where it was ranked 6th, such feedback gave the Rapid a strong 25th place in the overall survey. As the Rapid uses technology from elsewhere in the VW group, we would expect it to be extremely reliable. Driven in the manner that its designers intended which is conservatively, even the wear and tear items should last well. The cabin feels durable and well put together too, so should give years of service. When the Rapid was crash tested by Euro NCAP in 2012, it received a full 5 star rating. Most of this is due to the Rapid's inherent crash safety, as there's not much safety kit as standard. Six airbags are fitted but Skoda's front assist collision warning and autonomous emergency braking system is around 315 pounds. Warranty 
The Rapid comes with a three-year warranty, but while the first two years include unlimited mileage there's a cap of 60,000 in year three. However, you can pay extra to extend the warranty for five years slash 100 comma 000 miles for around 460 pounds. Servicing For about 22 pounds per month, Skoda will sell you a maintenance plan that covers servicing and inspections for three years or 30,000 miles. It includes an oil change at 12 months or 10,000 miles, and an inspection service at 24 and 36 months.